And now, marine weather around Alaska. Today's sea ice analysis showing uh, ice edge extending kind of east-west here and has made an advance uh, to the southwest over the last three days with the thin ice still uh, away just a short distance northeast of St. Paul Island and probably won't make much further advance as the winds dropping off now and will eventually become uh, more west or southwest. So this is about it, at least for this round of its latest advancement. And for the uh, chart here, you can see pretty light winds out over the Bering Sea today or for tonight, basically from a west-southwest direction of the low center up towards St. Matthew Island there for the Primbloss, but a widespread area of light snow. Weak trough with more light snow over the western interior here, specifically the Seward Peninsula down to Bristol Bay. Weak front, weak precipitation, north Gulf Coast and Panhandle, and diminishing light snow over the northeast part of the state. That ends tomorrow for a dry day for the uh, North Slope Arctic Coast down in, across the Brooks Range. Scattered snow showers in the interior to none at all off to the east. And uh, that extends to the west here. Still widespread snow out over the Bering Sea, Pribilof Islands, but your winds now west to west southwest. And uh, just a weak trough bringing some showers into the southeast coast, as well as uh, areas from Yakutat to Whittier. And for uh, Wednesday, mostly cloudy, few showers around south central Alaska. Same for the interior, uh, depending on your time of day, rain or snow showers or just rain, but they're all pretty light and scattered, so it really won't amount to much at all. It should clear out over the southeast coast, hopefully. It'll be dry anyway with light winds. And this front brings increasing chances of snow to the Yukon Delta coast and Nunavak Island in the afternoon. And for tonight, uh, along the south coast, southerly winds at about 10 knots. Otherwise, for the central and north coast, variable to east southeast release at 10 knots. Light variable winds, northern inner channels, and east southeast winds 10 to 15 knots for the central and southern inside waters. And then for Wednesday, inside uh, channels and water areas here, north winds 15 knots with seas running three to six feet. North winds 15 knots for the south coast and the north coast, north to northwest winds at 15 knots. Prince William Sound for Tuesday, east at 15 in the forecast. Eastern North Gulf Coast, southeast at 15 knots, turn east at 15 for the western North Gulf Coast. Light variable winds for the Barren Islands, Kamishak Bay, Cook Inlet, light northeast breeze at 10 knots. And for Wednesday, variable winds, 10 knots for Cook Inlet, west 20 for the Kamishak Bay area, turn northwest at 20 for the Barren Islands, Prince William Sound and the North Gulf Coast, variable winds at 10 knots. Kodiak Island, southwest winds, 15 knots. West-northwest winds at uh, 15 knots for the Alaska Peninsula, west 20 knots for Bristol Bay. And then for Wednesday, variable winds 10 to 15 knots for Bristol Bay. Light winds, or I'm sorry, Alaska Peninsula variable winds 10 to 15 knots. Not much different for Bristol Bay, west at 10 there. West-northwest 15 for Kodiak Island. Eastern Aleutians tomorrow, west-southwest winds 15 to 20 knots. Adak and Atka, southwest at 15, and for the western Aleutians, uh, got uh, mostly south to southwest winds at 10 to 20 knots. Then those increase uh, on Wednesday, especially from Kiska to Shimia, turning east, increasing to 30 knots. Mchitka Island, southeast, 20 to 25 knots. Adak and Atka, south winds 15 to 20 knots. And for the eastern Aleutians, south winds at 15 knots. And for the Cuscoham Delta Coast tomorrow, northwest winds at 15 knots, southwest 15 for the uh, St. Paul, St. George area, marine waters there, northeast 20 for St. Matthew Island, and southeast at, 50, at 10 knots for the uh, Yukon Delta Coast, Norton Sound, St. Lawrence Island, west winds at 10. And for Wednesday, winds pick up. We've got small craft advisories now out over the Bering Sea. 30 knots from the southwest here for the Pribilofs, east 25 for St. Matthew Island. Otherwise, south to southeast winds, 20 knots for the southwest coast, southeast at 20 for the uh, St. Lawrence Island area. And for the eastern Beaufort Sea coast for tomorrow, northeast to northwest winds at 20 knots. Northeast 20 knots for the uh, central coast. Brisk wind advisories for the western Arctic coast. East winds 30 knots. 
And uh, some gale warnings here, say from Point Lay to uh, Cape Lisbon, northeast at 35 knots, and then the Chukchi Sea, east-northeast, 15 to 20 knots. And then for Wednesday, gale warnings, eastern Boulevard Sea coast, east winds, 35 knots, east at 30 knots for the central and western Arctic coast, and the Chukchi Sea, mostly east to northeast at 15 knots.